So a friend of mine once texted me, A thought just occurred to me. It takes just as much faith to be a believer as it does to be an atheist, and neither bears any more evidence of the truth than the other. Now, the conversation ended up being about whether or not atheism is a belief. And I feel like this is something that shouldn't require any further explanation, but it keeps coming up, just like the second law of thermodynamics or the idea that evolution can't account for the creation of the universe. To clear things up, atheism is not a belief. It requires no faith, has no dogma, no tradition, no clergy, and no indoctrination. There is no one book that claims superiority over all others. There is no lavish temple in which atheists are required to participate in complex rituals, and there are no tenets of atheism that guide one's stance on issues like same-sex marriage or abortion. The only requirement to be called an atheist is to not believe in a god or gods. That's it. So why would someone say that atheism is a religion, or at least a belief system? Well, it takes more faith to be an atheist than it does to believe in God. Now, people like Charlie Campbell, and Kirk Cameron, and Frank Turek have popularized this statement, and apologists love to pull this one out as a sort of trump card when all else fails. But the things they like to say we have blind faith in are either made up or misrepresented. Supposedly, we have blind faith in evolution and the Big Bang. We replace faith in God with faith in science. Or it takes more faith to believe that we came from nothing than it does to believe that God created us. Oh, eat a dick. Atheists aren't the ones who say that we came from nothing. Evolution is accepted, not believed in, because it's been proven. There are mountains of evidence collected over 150 years that support it. The Big Bang is nothing more than a best guess at this point. But it's not just because someone said it and we all believe it. Again, supporting evidence like background radiation and redshift indicate that the observable universe is expanding. If we were to reverse the process, the logical conclusion points to everything originating from a single point doesn't mean we believe everything came from nothing, and it sure as fuck doesn't mean that we wouldn't change our ideas in light of new evidence to the contrary, which is the opposite of faith. Faith in God actually requires we believe, without question, that we came from nothing. Oh, and then there's this guy, Bruce Shepard. Dude's been trolling my videos for a while now and throws some epic temper tantrums. He even suggested my mother should be punched in the mouth. He tries to make a point on his blog by saying, We have faith on a daily basis in something that we do not have empirical evidence that it will happen the way we plan it to. Another example of faith is when we are traveling to a destination in hope by faith that we will reach that destination on time. So the whole anti-faith garbage is a cult of logophobic bigots that are too sophophobic and too arrogant to listen and learn how they are wrong, but they have faith that they are right. Yeah, um... I'm pretty sure no one has faith that they'll get to their destination on time. But I think I know the point that he was trying to make. So let's use another example. When I put my fat ass in a chair, I don't have faith that it won't collapse. I have a reasonable expectation based on the fact that I've sat in the chair before and it held up. I don't know of any structural defects in the chair, so I don't have a reason to believe that it's going to collapse on me. That's not faith. Faith would be betting my entire life that it will hold up because God, then making up some excuse about why it fell apart and claiming it's somehow part of God's plan. From the debate page on Conservapedia. Atheism is a religion. This is because, to a certain extent, they are worshiping something, as Christians, Jews, and Muslims are one God, atheists worship the fact that there is no God. Worship? Really? Who's fucking worshiping? Where are the throngs of heathens gathering on bended knee to worship a simple four-word sentence? Sorry, but this one fails miserably. from Debunking Atheists on Blogspot. Actually, I could do a whole video dedicated to this douche canoe, but I'm trying to give everyone a fair shake here. They have their own prophets, Nietzsche, Russell, Feuerbach, Lenin, Marx, 
Actually, most apologists I've heard of like to cite Richard Dawkins, Christopher Hitchens, and Sam Harris. But you get the idea. And seriously, this is one of the biggest bullshit arguments for atheism being a religion. Just because some of us take an interest in one or two people and their writings does not mean that we elevate them to the position of prophet. And certainly not to the extent that believers have elevated Jesus, Muhammad, or Buddha. If we're going to accept that the level to which someone takes an interest in another person constitutes religion, then we also have to consider sports teams to be prophets, musicians to be gods, and movie directors to be high priests. From the conversation with my friend, you believe in nothing. He believes in nothing. He believes in nothing, Labolsky, nothing. Look, man, I'm an atheist, not a nihilist. Never once have I said I believe in nothing. Even if I did, that still wouldn't mean atheism is a religion. If anything, it would distance atheism from religion, since there would be no organized system of beliefs or rules. So Merriam-Webster offers one definition of religion as an interest, a belief, or an activity that is very important to a person or group. Of course, if you're going to use this definition of religion, then you should probably take off that sports jersey and stop voting and get rid of your precious car because, you know, first commandment. Look, I can see how atheists can give the impression that we're all part of some kind of religion, especially with the more recent new atheism or firebrand atheism. There are conventions, spokespeople, and even a few atheist churches. Although I think the idea of an atheist church is absolutely ridiculous. And some atheists can be very preachy when confronted about whether or not they believe in God. But so what? Video gamers have conventions. Conservatives can be preachy. Why is no one writing books and blogs about how those things are religions? And why is it that Christians, and to a lesser extent Muslims, take it so personally? There are plenty of other cults and religions out there who don't believe in your god or prophets. So why isn't that Fierstein asshole making YouTube videos that start with, Dear Mr. Scientologist, why aren't there three hour long Muslim versus Mormon debates? Inversely, where's the overabundance of atheist bashing by Hindus? Where are all the Wiccans issuing challenges to prove that atheism is accurate and correct? And this raises a bigger question. What is the end game? Is it supposed to level the playing field to say that being an atheist takes just as much faith as believing in God? Is that supposed to put faith on the same level as reason? If someone draws a conclusion based on centuries of research, countless testable, repeatable experiments, and mountains of verifiable evidence, am I to believe that the most reliable counter-arguments come from a book written thousands of years ago by men who believed that menstrual uncleanliness was contagious and the only cure for it was setting a pigeon on fire. Look, as I've said before, I genuinely do not have a problem with people having their religious beliefs. Where I take issue with religion is when the devout try to use their holy books to discredit or at least marginalize the countless hours of real scientific research. As always, if you like the video, click like, subscribe, and share. You can visit me on Twitter and Facebook, and I now have a Patreon account if any of you are feeling generous. I feel kind of weird asking for money, but I decided to put it up there anyway, and hopefully it'll motivate me to put out some more content for you guys. Hopefully a little bit better content as well. Um, so anyway, I'll put the links below, and once again, thank you for encouraging my behavior.